welcome back to another exos heroes update so today we'll have an update for tomorrow so to start off this update we have quantum challenge in a way i think guys this is the quantum raid so they just changed it i hope there are content changes as well aside from the name change so uh, yeah it's still quantum raid it's uh, just named as quantum challenge so i uh, I do hope that this game mode is going to improve a bit because again, um, it's if it's going to be the same, a lot of players are not gonna like this, and more or less, this is just going to be a a you know a rerun, a again a more a kind of boring rerun of a content. So again. I hope that they have new changes to this. Moving on, the, uh, sorry, this will be up tomorrow, um, August, uh, I think uh, August 12th. Next would be the Air Squadron Battle Schedule. So the schedule will start on August 15. So as you continue to September 12th. So again, um, we are actually waiting for this. And hope that uh, you'll be ready for your squadron for August 15. Okay, next would be your hero battle, which will be Monica's story. So for those who don't have Monica, you can actually get her here. Next would be summer vacation package announcement. So new package is here. So again, um, the packages, if you can see the one that stands out the most, would be the summer vacation recruit package which is of course 5000 priced and uh, but it has a lot of things going for it nation recruit 50 and more or less 20 20 zest and also the summer vacation zest package which i used to get at 5000 which gives you 4000 zest just in case you need zest for your recruitment the rest are more or less just basic. Um, those are the two recommendations that I have if you really want to get these packages. Um, attendance pass package, one per account, uh, exclusive weapon crafting. This is also good because this has an exclusive weapon on the 14th day. Nation recruit all around. Kind of, Kind of good as well. Zest 700. So the, the kicker here will be your exclusive weapon crafting ticket. So again, this is also good. So more or less the 5,000 ones. Um, summer vacation recruit package, summer vacation zest package, and attendance pass package is actually good. Next would be our Fate Core Chance Up, which is going to be the Black Fate Core of Jin. So Gaze of the White Gull Jin. Jin's summer bikini or summer get up or summer outfits or recruit Jin from a parallel world who is able to easily meld into the surroundings with the gentle mood so again artwork splendid i i can't say more and the weapon is actually very very nice so but let's proceed first to the skills of Jin. so for Jin, um the black fate core summer version uh, passive effect, um, finishing blow 3, attacks if an enemy takes damage and its health drops to 10% or less, so gains 1 mana. So he also has life jacket um, in terms of the theme. So buff, if an ally is affected with a, by a debuff, remove all debuff from that ally and increase critical hit for all allies by 300 for 8 turns. Upon successful removal, 1 time per battle can't be stacked. Okay, Imitate imitate right dive so special grand stealth to sell for two rounds and increases own attack by 10 percent for each mana on self upon rev upon reviving yeah yeah pretty much good next would be surfing debuff when an ally besides self attacks a charm enemy attacks one of the targets together and decrease the target's attack speed by 34 five turns so um, S1 would be Shadow Dive Slash, deals 180 damage to one enemy, resets on turn. If, targets if target dies, afflicts target with silence for three turns, mana burn. This is actually his usual kit. 
if the target is charmed so mana burn and turn reset s2 as well active uh, required mana is two deals three five seven damage to an enemy ambush inflicts target with silence for four turns in mana burn so again silence mana burn pretty much um a manual skill to use um pretty much you can disable your enemies if you're if actually you're using a stories but again i'd like to go back to his passive so for his passive he has let's go with surfing first it's a debuff with an ally besides self attacks a charmed enemy attacks one of the targets together and decreases the target's attack speed by 30 percent can be viable as well so if i may look at it both both gold version and black version of um of uh, gin or fc gin it's actually pretty useful so it will really really uh, be up to your core memory if you built up his core memory then he is actually viable for pvp you can you can swap out both um i'll have to test him out if i do summon for him tomorrow I'll try to. I think I will. Um, I'm still thinking about it. Next, we'll have to go to his other passive. So again, a re-review. Imitate dive. Grant stealth to self for two, two rounds and increase own attack by 10%. Fresh mana on self upon reviving. So again, this is also a good spell to have. And um, life jacket as well. Okay. So my thoughts on fc Jin, the 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 black fate core version he is he is going to be at par with the gold uh, version of fc Jin. it's their their skill sets are similar especially for their s1 and s2 but in terms of the passive they're kind of there they're kind of there different utilities different um kind of similar play styles but there are a bit more sim um, differences like for example for the life jacket eh, he gives a buff to all allies of 300 so again and also also decreases attack speed as well for surfing so he is i think he is more I, I don't want to say this now because I have to test him and compare him with the gold FC Jin, but I think they're at par. If you ask me if you're going to pull for him, if you don't have the gold version of FC Jin, and if you're planning or you're using Astoris right now, then I think you should pull for this dude. Because again, he will be valuable to your Astoris. I'm, I'm currently building Astoris. I'm really tempted to pull for the, for the black Fate core version just to test it out just to see if this is going to be better than the other one so again at this point i'm saying yes to pulling this uh black fate core could be a good replacement or could be your first fc for fc gym if you don't have the gold version of course and again kit is solid i think it's solid I don't think um I don't think it's it's not as good but it's actually worthy of PVP as long as again you have built signature force for stories and core memory for this black FC gin. Okay guys, so those are my thoughts for FC gin. So again, um I'll be I'll be doing a I'll try to do a summon video tomorrow for FC Jin and probably compare who is better, him or the gold faded version. Again, guys, thank you very much for staying this long. And also, please consider subscribing. Click the bell icon so that you don't miss any episodes of EXO's Heroes. Also, guys, please put a like to this video. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.